So our first place to start is looking at how to calculate the stress in a butt weld or a straight plate. This is the most simplest of dimensions and introduces the calculation first. So if I have a plate, and of course if I start applying a tensional stress, so I try and pull that part, plate apart, around the centre of the plate will form stress, and that can be calculated by using the equation stress equals the load applied divided by the cross-sectional area. So as I do that, I will get that sort of stress about midpoint, and you sort of see that in tensile tests when the material will start to neck and elongate and deform in the centre of the plate, because as we pull it apart, that's where we get the highest concentration. So looking at a question to apply that then, we've got what is the stress within a plate when the load of 850 kilonewtons is applied and the material thickness is 10 by 500 millimetres? So what we can do is we can first write down the information we have. So we know we've got a load of 850 kilonewtons and we have a cross-sectional area of 10 millimetres times 500 millimetres. So if we correct that to units we can use, so we know 850 kilonewtons is 850,000 newtons and our cross-sectional is, is width times length. So that's 10 times 500 which gives us 500 millimetres squared. Putting that into the equation, we've got load times cross-sectional area equals our stress. So we can swap those out for what we know. So 850,000 newtons divided by 5,000 millimetres squared equals the stress applied. So that would calculate 170 newtons a millimetre squared. Thing here is always to remember is to carry your units through. Simplify your units first, so change them from kilonewtons to newtons, and then make sure that when you write your answer, your newtons divided by millimeter squared is, is there. As our fillet weld, in our equation we used in the last example, so stress equals load divided by cross-sectional area. Here we have uh, our, our workings. So we're starting to change the equation to what we can input values from. So if I was to give the following values, so 220 kilonewtons, my length is 250 millimeters, and my throat thickness is 12 millimeters, we can input that into our equation to be 220,000 newtons, divided by my cross-section area, which is 250 times 12. So very much the same as the butt weld uh, example there. However, now we're using the throat thickness instead of the plate thickness, and that would be our design throat thickness. So if I have that, I can then just finish off that equation. So we've got 220,000 newtons divided by 3,000, which would be 3,000 millimeters squared. And that gives us a stress applied of 73.33 newtons a millimeter squared. So now we can look at a question based around what calculating the throat thickness required for a certain material under a certain stress, uh, let a certain loading level. So in this example here, I want to find what my design throat thickness should be in the given situation. So here we're applying again a load of 220 kilonewtons and our weld length is 250 millimetres. So we, let's start with our standard equation, which is, again, our stress equals load over cross-sectional area. We then know we need to find throat thickness, so we need to move 
the cross-sectional area across to the subject side of the equation. So we can do that just by swapping cross-sectional area and stress. So cross-sectional area equals load divided by stress. But of course, we've got to work out, well, what is my stress? What is my allowable stress to have in this component? Now, for most steels, we use a, a design assumption of two thirds of the yield strength. So how do I know what two thirds of my yield strength is? Well, we look at our material type. Let's say this is S355 material. Um, so that's got a yield strength minimum of 355 newtons a millimeter squared. So if I take that and put it into my equation, so I want 350 newtons a millimeter squared, but I only want two thirds of that, so I can times it by 0 0.66. And that would give me my load of 220,000 newtons divided by an allowable stress of 200. 34 newtons a millimeter squared. Once you do that, that then gives me my full cross sectional area of 3,000 millimeters squared, but I need to find the fraud thickness. So what is that? So we know that the cross sectional area is fraud thickness times our length. So if I then take my 3,000 millimeter squared and divide it by my length, I should get a fraud thickness. So let's do that. And then I get back to 12 millimeters. So what we can do here is work out, well, what stress will a well take, but also what should my value be? And you can, you can move that equation around no matter what. You might want to find the length of the weld or the max amount of load you can apply over that weld size. It all comes from the same equation, being stress equals load over cross-sectional area. And just rebalancing that to, to check and see what your value should be. So that brings us to the end of this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you do enjoy this content or you're getting some use out of it, remember to share it with as many people as you can. The faster and the more we grow the community and people start dropping comments in the videos below telling me what they want to see next, I will make videos on whatever people want to learn. Um, so with that, good luck with your studies and stay safe and we will see you in the next one.